Welcome back to Iron Scrub. Today I'm going over how to use an easy pump, aka a med ball. You essentially do the same thing as I've shown you in the previous video. This means that you go ahead and clean your surface, preferably with Lysol or Clorox, and then perform hand hygiene for 20 seconds with warm water and soap. And then go ahead and prime these little things. You have your flush, your medicine, your flush, and then your heparin, in that order from left to right. And then simply prime your syringe like this, kind of rush that one, but you get the gist of it. And then this looks like a beach ball when it's fully inflated with your medication or fully filled up with your medication. Don't take off the cap until you're ready to use it. At this point in time, we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is primed. Go ahead and prime this syringe as well. And then the last thing, same thing with the heparin, which is primed already. It's not always primed, but make sure that it's primed. So everything at this point should be primed. Your medication, you're supposed to take out an hour prior to using it. So if you have what it used at nine o'clock or a schedule at nine o'clock, you're gonna go ahead and take it out of the fridge at 8 a.m. and then set it out on the counter or clean surface. And then you perform hand hygiene again after priming it like this. So this is your extension set. You can also pretend that this is your central line, but because this is an extension set, it could be hooked onto your central line and go ahead and use your dominant hand to maneuver while keeping the other side still. Open the extension tubing like I did just there, and then you go ahead and clean the hub. So scrub the hub for 20 seconds and then let it dry again for 15 sec seconds, 15, 20 seconds, and then you're gonna go ahead and follow through left to right, and you're gonna use the push, stop, push, stop, push motion so that you create turbulence to clean the line. That's what you're doing at first. Of course, if you feel that there's resistance, stop and then contact your nurse, or if you are the nurse, then of course you're gonna go ahead and um, assess it and then reposition the patient. And then we go on and clean it again and then this is where you place your easy pump or your med ball. Again, it's fully inflated by your pharmacist and you go ahead and unscrew this end right here, male, female portion, and you simply push in, there's a spring there, and then you connect it righty tighty. And then go ahead and, and unlock this clamp. And this is a gravity type medication or your easy, easy pump. Um, and med ball is another way to call it and you just set it until it's fully done You don't have to have this place higher than anything else You just set it right next to you in bed or wherever you're sitting then after you're finished with it You come back you perform hand hygiene Make sure that this is fully deflated and obviously you're not going to push in air or anything But you know that it's fully done once it's fully deflated like this Once it's done go ahead and perform hand hygiene and then place your gloves on. And then grab this easy pump, clamp it, and then disconnect it. Now this is a one-time use med ball or easy pump. You're gonna go ahead and dispose of it in the container that the pharmacist provides for you and then you're going to go ahead again from left to right so you're going to clean this scrub the hub for 20 seconds let it dry for 15 to 20 seconds making sure you don't twist the line itself and then you're going to go ahead and flush it now at this point in time you have medication still in here so you're still going to use a push stop method but it's not going to be as fast because you do have medication still in that line the purpose of this is again to clean the line, but you're just pushing the rest of the medication in there so that your line is fully cleaned out and it's fully patent for the next use. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean it. If this happens, go ahead and grab yourself another alcohol swab. This time I didn't have an extra alcohol swab, but yes, grab yourself another alcohol swab. And then finally, if the doctor tells you to, go ahead and hep lock it. And that's gonna remain in your line, keeping your line patent. And then you lock your line and place a curious cap and you're done.